we're gonna go ahead and cut these stitches out. The worry continues now on the 32 cal. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. The 32 cow right here. Oh, there's Big Joe. Has still not had her cow. The worry continues now on uh, the status of our potential mama. Um, so, and then we have a visitor coming to say hi. As you can tell, Big Joe looks a little bit different today. The old comb over is going on. We got the fro hardcore this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy it's kind of giving me the look i don't know maybe i think you want something but that means we got much much needed rain which is awesome we are so excited it's been it's been a while since we've had good rain and this is nice slow steady rain i'm not sure how much we got but probably a couple inches and we have a chance for the next five days and so pumped and love it and i know these guys love it i don't know if you guys can tell uh but these animals look so much darker and like more black than they normally do when they're wet. And he is just really giving me the, the stare down here. I don't know what's going on with him. So a couple things we got to do today, hanging out with these guys, checking on them. And then the next thing is uh, we're going to work on Cora a little bit. We got some updates on her and uh, hey buddy, can you back up just a little bit? Okay, we're gonna pull uh, Cora's stitches out today also and uh, show you guys how she's healing. Okay, Big Joe. So Cole and I got rained out which I'm not gonna complain about. It is a much needed thing that we need here is moisture. Very thankful for rain. So we're gonna show you some footage that we got before it started storming with Eleanor, Charlie, and what we did with Cora. Hey. Come here. Come on. Hmm? She's gonna take the long way around. Come here. Hey. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. She's thinking about it. She's a roamer. Does what she wants. <laughs> she did literally the same thing to us the other day. I guess we never told you. It's my fault, I'm sorry. Charlie had kit. She had five. Four white and one black kitten. So Charlie had disappeared over the summer for about four or five days and we were really worried about her. And this is, for me, the first time to own a cat. And so I really wasn't sure um, the characteristics or activities of a cat or a barn cat. Um, so she had left and we had talked to some people and they said, well, that's when they leave and they get bred 
and then they come back. Well, sure enough, here we are. Charlie's got her first set of kittens. Since then, they've grown up and hit the weaning stage, and we have actually given two of them away. There's one in Nebraska to some of some Marissa's friends, and then the other one is here local with one of Brooks's classmates and good friends. Get this girl caught since I got her out here. She won't. She just doesn't like this. Every day, twice a day, we have to uh, catch our girl and do the hydrotherapy. I do it the first thing in the morning once I get here. And then um, do it in the afternoon or evening before we go home. So it's good that we're catching her every day and tying her up. It's became a routine with her. She knows how to untie my loops now. <laughs> it's hard. But um, we do have to do this hydrotherapy at least twice a day on her and try to get this taken care of. Uh, it's important that we got to keep this clean and she's uh the bad part about it is she's this left side she chewed her stitches out mm. yeah so she chewed her stitches out of the left side and now she's chewing out the right side and i called the vet and told him and he said it'd be hard to put them back in now at this point i'll take her out here and we can hose her brooks you can get down and come out here and my, my knots are not great. Yeah, she can get out of it. You're silly girl. Hmm? It's good to catch her and tie her up every day, even leave her for a little bit, but. So we haven't let her out yet. She hasn't been able to graze. She's been getting a little feisty. Tired of being sprayed. And I'm sure it don't feel good either. It'd be uncomfortable, but. It looked worse before it got looking better and now it's starting to actually look better, but she's chewed her stitches out in some portions of it. She chewed this side out first. Daddy. Daddy. Um, yes, babe. <gasps> Did you pick a flower? That's pretty. Thank you. I'm gonna put it on Cora. <laughs> Either, are her boo-boos getting better? No. No? <laughs> they look like they are. Yeah, kind of. Just takes time, like when you get a scab. Yep. It does. Oh, she wears she feet on me. She's getting, she's getting there. She wears, she wears knees on me. She does what? She wears knees on me. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, that was hilarious. So I usually do this for about five or ten minutes on, on one, or per wound per major wound is what I do. So I start here on the inside of the ankle. And I just come up, reminder every now and then that it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay. Ooh, that water's chilly, isn't it? She's, she's about to pull her knot out. <laughs> sure it hurts her. We also wanted to show you another <laughs> recent update on Cora pulling out her stitches. When we were in Redmond, Utah, working with our uh, Redmond company that we do our um, trace minerals with, um, <laughs> we... Uh, an awesome lady by the name of Julie was out there and she saw an Instagram video of Cora getting treated for her wounds. Anyway, she came up to me and she goes, hey, here, I saw your Instagram video. Why don't you try um, our clay, our natural clay healing uh, for your, this is part of their horse line. So they have an agriculture line, they have a food line, um, and then they have an equine line. And so she was so nice. She brought this to me. Treats for sores, open wounds, irritations, 
bites infections, keep flies off, promotes natural healing. This clay is from the Redmond, Utah area. And uh, of course, some of you out there probably already know how healing clay can be. So um, we're gonna use some of this on her. Thank you, Julie, for this in Redmond. You know, obviously it's starting to heal when we just discovered this clay product, uh, but that's okay because we're gonna keep this tube for future problems. You know, I wish we could use sort of products like this on our bison, but you know, it's just, uh, you just can't walk up to them, put a halter on them and tie them up and give them what you need. It'd be uh, quite a process. You gotta round them up, bring them in, put them in your squeeze chute and do that sort of stuff. So you have to try to treat them from a distance, but I don't think we're gonna be doing hydrotherapy on our bison. So I'm gonna apply some of this real quick. That chicken in the background wears me out. Hey, does she need those stitches out, hun? We're gonna go ahead and cut these stitches out. It's been over two weeks. I probably should already cut them, but I wanted them to stay in there a little bit longer. Because it is healing and it's come together and I don't want this going in there. <laughs> Cora. Hey, girl. You're doing good. Yeah. It actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks really good. Considering what it looked like. Yeah, so we're going to apply some of this butter on there. Hey, girl. <laughs> you know about this clay, too. Besides healing, it protects these wounds. I do know that about clay. You know, this is... Yeah. I mean, essentially, you could probably put the same clay on your face or your own wounds. If I had a cut out here in the pasture or something, I could... I could just put this on there too. I think you can apply it pretty heavily too, hun. Yeah. Now this one spot right there. Because it's like a it's like a thick paste, so it's gonna help draw the infection or anything out, you know. Good girl, Cora. Good girl, Cora. It's a good girl. She knows she's been getting taken care of. Spent a lot of time on these this chest and that leg. It's a good girl. You almost can't hardly tell. Like, there's a little bit of scar tissue there, but you can't hardly tell. No, it looks really good. It's going to heal up really good. Well, good girl. Good girl. Let me go take care of your leg real quick. Be still sensitive, huh? I think it is pretty sensitive to her. Yeah. Easy, girl. It's probably a, kind of a difficult place to really heal. Yeah, it's a tight area, you know, on the leg. That's why he couldn't put stitches there. Yeah. Is because. Thank you for being a good girl. Thank you. Some of you horse people would probably, some of you horse people would be proud. She's holding still while I'm working on her. It's been a lot of practice doing this, doing our hydrotherapy and sprays and all of that. Haven't been fed? No, they have. They act like they have. Of course they have. Alright, well, really happy the way this has been going. From the way it looked, I was really worried. So, but it's actually healing up really well. So, glad the vet 
knew what he was talking about. Same with the hydrotherapy, because I was really surprised at how well it healed. It's taken, what, since Labor Day? Yeah. To heal this well? Yep. Which hydrotherapy is simply just spraying it. Yep, spraying it down, breaking up the, what do you call them, crystals? Yeah, or they the, start to develop. Sc the scarring of it, I guess, and just that continual removal of the crystals allows it to heal. Regrow and bring in new skin. Yeah, so it doesn't scar as bad. Yeah. It was just really interesting, I thought. So. So. That's it. We'll see how that clay does, too. Dries on her. Yeah. July, August, September, October. She is only 16 months old, so I think once it gets cold, you know, it starts warming up by next February, March, we'll be putting a saddle on her. I don't know how soon we'll get on her, but you know, she'll be, she'll be getting into the 20 month range. And uh, by next June, she'll turn two and hopefully we'll be able to ride her. Not all day adventures, but um, hopefully we'll be able to ride her um, by next June. So put a saddle on her. At two? At two. I so thought. Uh, I thought it was longer than that. That's two. Gotcha. That's two. Some people may say different, but I think the standard is mostly two. So. Thank you guys for watching us.